Greetings and salutations. Welcome to Knife Chats with Tobias. Okay, this is going to be a bit of a rant, but I really do just have to get this off my chest, and it's all about the Rough Rider Scout knives. If you're familiar with them, you know there are basically three versions floating out there. There's this Jumbo one, which started off in in the Marbles line. You can usually spot it uh, online because uh, it has the hole in the, um, the awl here. So even though it looks like your basic... Uh, Scout knife, it's really a jumbo size scout knife, way bigger than you need. Um, it was a Dave Canterbury design. Let's just make the camp knife bigger. And that's what they did. Everything is just embiggened. So you have a grossly insane size of a can opener here. A can opener that no one really needs anyway. You do have that big long screwdriver cap lifter there at least this cap lifter works and then you have the one that started off in the cam king line and this is the one they continue to make now and notice how big and stocky it is it is a thick knife big fat knife look at all the gaps in there um a lot of people are happy with this knife i'm not too crazy about it and one of the reasons on this one is the cap lifter doesn't work. Uh, you have to modify it to get uh, a proper beer cap under there to pop it open. Uh, they have been told repeatedly about this, but nothing has happened with it. I guess maybe some people are an expert with beer bottles or they know exactly what type of beer to buy so that this cap lifter is going to work. This is the one they have been making all sorts of knives with. Um, this one is in the Carbon series. They got the Camp King and I think a couple other ones in there. These were their pre-2016 or 2017, pre this knife, scout knife that they were making. And this is based off in, of an old case knife and it has the funky can opener over here. And I guess a lot of people are like, I don't like that can opener. You know, I want a real can opener. I want the safety can opener because this one is a little trickier to use as a can opener. So I get that. I can understand why you would want to move forward. Well, Case moved forward with that, and they came out with same knife, same frame, just put on a proper safety can opener. So there is no reason that if Rough Rider wanted to, they could do the same thing. And notice how clean this knife is. See how close those blades are? You got the wonderful punch back here. Nice and pointy, very sharp. A much better punch than what you have on this one. This one's shorter. It looks kind of, I don't know. It You can see that there's all sorts of nicks on there because I used it, but I guess I wasn't supposed to use it. But anyway, <laughs> Rough Rider has been making these two knives for quite some time, and they have only released it in red jig bone and amber jig bone. I have asked many a times, why don't you make it in white smooth bone? Why don't you make it in something else? And they don't even have this knife in their old outdoorsman series. Can you think of a knife more outdoorsy than a scout knife? Why they never put the outdoorsman, put a scout knife in the outdoorsman series is beyond me. But they didn't. Um, and it, it's a shame. They needed to put a Scout Knife in the Outdoorsman series. If they were to relaunch the Outdoorsman series now, they would put it this knife into the Outdoorsman series. And this one, I'm sorry, but this knife sucks compared to this knife. I, I have no other way of putting it. I really do not like this one, especially when comparing it to this one, even with this can opener. And one of the reasons is because this can opener is an extremely versatile blade. It is an excellent blade for opening boxes. It's an excellent blade for opening those uh, cellophane packages also. You can poke it in there and slide it around. Notice how the uh, edge is on there. It really works great as a package opener. It's great for cutting open boxes. It is also great for doing things like scribing uh, drywall and stuff like that. Anything that needs scribing, you can just put it right there. You've got the nice straight edge and boom, 
you've scribed your line, you've scribed drywall, and then you can just break it, so on and so forth. So this blade is a lot more versatile than the new safety can opener, which basically a lot of people don't use. It's just a, a wasted blade on it. Whereas this blade, because of what it is, you can actually do other things with it other than just open a can with it. So it's a much better knife all around. And, you know, you got a screwdriver cap lifter with the proper edge here so you can actually pop open a beer bottle. These sometimes work but most of the time do not work you need to modify it to get it to work correctly all in all this is just a better knife it's, it's better looking better made um, you've got brass in there and everything else you've got a wonderful blade going on with it i don't know i don't understand why they had to screw up the scout knife when they came out with a new one uh, I get it. I, it was, I was so thrilled when they came out with the Camp King, but this is what I was expecting. I was expecting this knife with the safety can opener. Instead, I got this knife with all the gapping and everything else. It's, it's, it's ugly. I, I don't know what else to say about it. And I really do wish that Rough Rider and Smoky Mountain Knife Works would heed my word and start coming out with more of these scout knives and other handle material other than red jig bone and um, the uh, amber jig bone. This is the knife that should be uh, bearing the Camp King logos. This is the knife that should be in the Outdoorsman series. This is a knife that you could promote in other um, series such as the Carbon series other than this one here. This one Oh, joy, rapture. It's got a half stop and it's got a swedge. Screw the half stop and the swedge. I would much rather have this knife any day of the week over this knife. Any case, there's my thoughts on these. Um, and as you can tell, I'm a little bit bitter over all of this. I really wish that these knives were in production more often and they were doing something other than amber jig bone and red jig bone. These are some of the best scout knives that Rough Rider ever made, and they just continue to make only these if they make them at all. And now we've got this thing and this thing that they're doing instead. Why couldn't have this been in the tiger stripe? That would have been fantastic. But nope, we got the the jumbo camp knife with all the gapping in the world in there. And once again, very little brass. Anyway, I'm going to let you go now. As you can tell, I'm a little heated over this whole mess. Let me take just a second to thank you once again for dropping by and spending a few minutes here at Knife Chats with Tobias. I really do appreciate it and I do appreciate any comments that you leave. So please uh, remember to give me that thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe and ring that notification bell so you'll know when the next episode is up and running. Thanks again for dropping by. really do appreciate your time here.